Photoshop has both people who love it and people who hate it. It's always been like that. However, now that you need to pay a monthly fee, many people are wondering if they should keep using Photoshop or choose another photo editing software. Here are 10 new features Photoshop CC offers that I believe make this newest installment of Adobe's well-known program well worth it. A lot of changes have been done to the interface of Photoshop CC. In the welcome screen, for example, you'll be able to see your recent files, thumbnails, and have access to libraries and presets. If you're new to using Photoshop CC or just need a refresher, Adobe has included personalized tutorials available on this same screen. Besides the welcome screen, they have also redesigned the icons and have made the interface color consistent throughout the entire software. Photoshop continues to implement a lot of changes for Microsoft Surface users. It detects some gestures as well as some keyboard shortcuts on the Surface. It's important that you know how your project is going to look like on mobile devices. With Photoshop CC, you can install the Adobe Preview app on your tablet or smartphone. The design space also received an upgrade. The workspace is smaller and the tool set is a lot simpler. With artboards, you can create documents with multiple views for different screen sizes. In this latest version of Photoshop, libraries have evolved. They don't simply sync documents, they also sync color themes, font styles, and brushes. And that's not all. You can access and create them through Photoshop CC, but you can also use other mobile apps to achieve this. Photoshop Mix, Premiere Clip, and Hue CC are just a few. Plus, they are all free. With Fotolia's acquisition, Adobe Stock now includes over 40 million vectors, images, video clips, and illustrations. Even if you're not a Creative Cloud member, you are able to purchase these assets. Adobe also makes it possible for you to sell your own assets where you can make 33% of the sales, which is better than 25% average that is paid by the industry. Most people who have been using Photoshop for some time now are going to notice a drastic change in the fonts. You can now filter your search for specific fonts you like. Examples of categories include script, black letter, and serif. But you can do even more. You can choose a font you like and ask Photoshop to show similar fonts. These upgrades are great time savers. If you've never heard of Behance, it's a social network specially designed for creative professionals. Through Behance, you can share your portfolio or some project you're working on and ask for feedback from other users. You can share your project directly from Photoshop with a single click. Besides asking for other users' opinions, Behance may also help you find new clients. By sharing your portfolio, people who are looking for a designer may see your work and hire you for their project. We can't forget about photo editing tools since this was how Photoshop started and until today no other software can beat it. Photoshop CC has great support for raw camera files, allowing you to make any effects or corrections you can think of. From adding or removing objects, to stained glass effect filters, to histogram adjustments, Photoshop has it all. Still, it keeps getting better and better. One of the new and best features in Photoshop CC is a camera shake reduction. Simply put, it analyzes the photo for path of shake motion and then automatically aligns the shifted pixels. Within the camera raw features, Photoshop CC now has Upright, a new geometry correction tool. With Upright, you'll be able to fix parallel, horizontal, and vertical lines. A new capability of the camera raw is the ability to use it as a filter to any image layer and apply some adjustments to video as well. Your old photos might not seem so good as they once were because of the lower resolutions, and Photoshop CC can help you with this thanks to its upsampling algorithm. A great addition to designers is the ability of Photoshop CC to generate the CSS code. Plus, it can also import color directly from a website CSS or HTML code, making your life much easier. Adobe made a great step in improving the 3D tools. They are now faster as well as having a more realistic shadow rendering. 
In addition, you can now download sample 3D documents to get you started. With Photoshop CC, you can duplicate your 3D objects and they'll reflect any edits you might have done. When you think about 3D, one of the main topics discussed is 3D printing. This latest installment has made it much easier to create and export a printable 3D object. There has been a major upgrade to the export features. It is much faster and will allow you to compress your files even more than before. One interesting upgrade is the ability to easily export in different sizes at the same time. You can also export a single layer. In conclusion, with all the new and upgraded features of Photoshop CC, Adobe didn't change to a monthly fee just to rip you off. They have made such an upgrade to the various Photoshop CC tools that paying the monthly fee is definitely worth it. You can find a link to purchase in the description below. Visit the hightechhobbyist.com to read the full article.